Hi all, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. It's time for another worm food challenge. Um, at the moment our garden is producing masses of zucchinis. They've just gone berserk. Uh, we're eating them in uh, like zucchini fritters and and Christine's putting them into all sorts of uh, meals and they're nice. Uh, we've even had zucchini chocolate cake. But uh, we can't eat them all and all our friends have kind of got plenty at the moment. So a good chance to see if the worms will eat them. So I'll slice a few up now, put them through my trust, trusty mulcher, and we'll do a trial and see how they go. So I'm slicing these zucchinis up because obviously they're too big to go through the mulcher hopper. So I'm feeding these through. It certainly doesn't take long to slice them up with a, a reasonably sharp knife. And the mulcher makes uh, short work of these. They are nice and uh, fleshy and the mulcher slices them up really well. So you can see I've done the entire bucket here. It didn't take very long and it'll give me plenty for a worm test plus the extra will go on a compost bin so you can see it's really pulpy um, very wet so uh, it should be ideal in the worm farm okay and now to the testing station um, the only one who follows my videos will see have seen this um, pellet built worm farm that I've using for testing various produce this center section I've just raked it around a bit um, a lot of castings in here uh, some leftover eggshells from the last batch of kitchen scraps but um, the worms are pretty well gone to the other bays now so there is a few in here so we'll see if they come back and get into this zucchini now this is very wet this pulp um, so I'll spread out a good healthy layer across this bay and uh, as with most of the produce I test on the worms and pretty well all um, worm food it does need to break down a bit first the worms are much more interested once the bacteria get into the food and it does start to break down so I'll put the carpet on this dampen it down or that won't need much because the zucchini is so moist and we'll check it in a week and generally what's happened then is it started to go a bit moldy and there's not a lot of activity and the second week really determines whether the worms like this um, as usual I'll put a fairly healthy layer in here and if for some reason the worms don't like it, they do have options to move to the other bays where there still is food. So I think it's a fairly accurate test. So we'll spread this out and we'll check back in a week. So a week's gone by. Time to see what the worms have thought of the zucchini. Okay, there's uh, actually they're into it a lot quicker than, than usual. We'll have a bit of a scratch around. Um... Yep, there's plenty of activity going on in here. Look at that. So that's um, that's just a week. Um, it's uh, I didn't water the bay much because the zucchini was so wet, and um, it hasn't really gone mouldy. It's just basically just been consumed by the worms. So I think that's a. Uh, I don't even won't even check back in another week. Um, because most of what I put in is gone. There's only a sprinkle on the top left. So another successful test. Uh, zucchini can add to the list of, uh, of suitable produce for the worms. And uh, any excess we get on our zucchini bushes, uh, if we can't give away or use in some new concoction, uh, as far as a meal goes, then the worms may as well have it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll do another test shortly. I've got a few ideas coming up with foods that perhaps aren't so generally accepted for worms so keep an eye on my channel thanks for watching